I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychHacks, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is recognition is a poor man's currency. So this is something that can trip up a lot of folks, especially in the context of their professional lives. A lot of people are looking for recognition, and a lot of people experience a great deal of frustration and resentment when they believe that their efforts are not sufficiently recognized by their employer, their organization, etc. And I can totally understand that. I have felt those feelings in the past, but I'm here to tell you that recognition is a poor man's currency. But before I explain what that means, please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and you can consider it your good deed for the day. So do the thing. Let's put it this way. The importance of recognition is inversely proportional to the degree to which you are paid in other ways. So to give you a very concrete example, what if in exchange for one of your brilliant ideas, I will give you $1 million on the condition that no one could ever know that you came up with it? Would you be okay with that? Leaving aside some fantastical fringe cases, I would be okay with that. I would keep my mouth shut for a million bucks. I'd rather have the million than the recognition. Now, this is obviously a hyperbolic example, but it kind of proves my point, which is the greater the value of the other forms of payment you receive, the less important recognition becomes. On the other hand, recognition becomes really, really important when your efforts don't result in making you much money, when they don't result in making your life easier, when they don't result in increasing future opportunity. In these cases, because you're not being compensated in other ways, you're really going to want to be paid in recognition. So recognition is a poor man's currency. And that's because rich men get paid in money. Rich men get paid in having their lives improved. Rich men get paid in increasing opportunity. When I was a starving artist, how did the producers pay me? In exposure. When I was an unpaid intern, how did directors pay me? In experience. And in both of those cases, recognition for my efforts was significantly more important to me than it is today. But what else did I have? I would encourage listeners struggling with this problem to seek out better compensation in other ways. Because at the end of the day, recognition is kind of an ego-based drive, which means that it's something of a trap. Uh, a trap that, in this case, can ensnare you in poverty and pettiness and envy, among other things. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for listening.